Hey guys, you're watching Max's View. Oh! Today, I'm going to talk to you about the five things that I think every serious snake keeper should have. First of all, I'd like to give a quick shout out to the awesome people over at Kruitai. Not only do they make amazing food, but they're awesome people. My channel is entering a new chapter and they have been a big part of that, so a huge thank you to them. Now there's a lot of different things that snake keepers should keep on hand, whether it's a scale, a fire extinguisher in case anything goes wrong, but these are different things that help me in my day-to-day -day workflow to help things go faster, smoothly, and more efficiently. So while I think you should always have a scale or a fire extinguisher on hand, these are different things that not everyone might think of. Do you often spend your time giving yourself carpal tunnel spraying down all of these enclosures? Well the first thing I think every serious snake keeper should keep is one of these pump sprayers. This one here is a gallon and a half, and I also keep a gallon one on hand. You should always keep it properly labeled so somebody else doesn't keep something else in it. But rather than sit there and overwork your hand and wrist, spraying down every enclosure, this makes it really easy to just open, spray down the enclosure, and shut it. And you can move on to the next one. Thermometers take a lot of time to actually get the proper temperature read, and even then the basking area itself might not be as accurate. So the second thing I think every serious snake keeper should keep is a temp gun. These temp guns are really easy to read and give you an accurate temperature and even have a laser pointer to point out where the temperature is. So that way I can open up the enclosure and I can see that the cool side will be right there at 79 degrees and the warm side is going to be right there about 86 which since it's nighttime they've already gone in their night drop so that's perfect. So this will help you determine the exact temperature inside your snake's enclosure. It's especially helpful when you're setting up a new rack or enclosure and have a thermostat set up to it. This helps you set the proper temperature to where your snake isn't going to be too hot or too cold. Now this product of course is a label maker. It's a really nifty product to have on hand when you're a snake keeper. One of the reasons is when you have a lot of hets, like this one here is a het albino that's being bred to an albino, but you'll notice here on the front. I have het albino on there. Right here on this rack, I have a het pied. Now this het pied here is fairly close to my het albino and I never want there to be any sort of question on which het is which. So this label maker really ensures that I know that this one here is a het albino, this one here is a het pied. It's also really nifty to me to keep on hand because all the different species I keep, I like to keep the Latin names on hand. So not only do I know the common names, I familiarize myself with the Latin names. Not to mention, if you ever go to sell a snake or rehome a snake, it's really nifty to keep the name of the, name of the animal and maybe the name of your business on there. So this way I can put this on the deli dish of an animal I rehome and that way that person walks out knowing what morphs they have and where it came from. Now most of my snakes that are kept in racks are usually kept on paper, but some snakes are a little messier than others, and this is a product that I think every reptile keeper and snake keeper should consider, and if you keep your reptiles in screen tops, should consider it a must. This product here is called Reptichip. I swear by this product because I use it in any snake that's in a screen enclosure, and in any snake that's in a rack that's a little bit messier and will turn over the paper, I also use this product for. I think this product is amazing because it's really easy to use, it's really easy to spot clean, it goes a very long way. Spot cleaning this product is really easy because all you have to do is move your snake out of the way, reach in, grab the waist, and put it in a bag. Now of course every six weeks I do a full cleaning of this rack so I'll take out all the products, I'll scrub everything down, and then I'll clean this using either vinegar water or an F10 bed cleaning solution. And then I put everything back in and I put new Repta chip in and it works fantastic. Like I said, it goes a long way and I think every snake keeper should look at getting this product. Of course, Repta chip doesn't pay me. I'm not sponsored by them. It's just a product that I think they did really good on. Now my final thing that I think every reptile keeper should keep on hand is something that you wouldn't exactly think of until something happens. Now what I mean by that is take for instance my beautiful spotted python Roxanne. She's a beautiful snake. Even as she approaches shed, she still has an awesome iridescence, but sometimes she just feels like biting me and wrapping me up. Which normally isn't a big deal, but it can be quite a nuisance if I'm in a hurry and need to get somewhere, or it can be especially painful if she bites me in a sensitive area like between the fingers, or I've seen snakes bite people and wrap them up on their eyebrows. So in that instance, I like to keep a bottle of Listerine on hand. Now obviously I haven't used all of this on snakes, I've used it to keep my breath minty fresh, 
A Listerine antiseptic isn't exactly something that is a desirable smell for snakes. So say she bent me in between the web of my fingers, it's pinching quite a bit. I can just take a little bit on my other finger, rub it on this finger, I never actually put it on the animal, and then the smell is something that she doesn't like, she'll let go, I'm able to put her back in her enclosure and make this situation less stressful for the both of us. Like I said, I never put it on the animal. I'm not looking to stress the animal out. I'm just looking to hurry the time that she decides to let go of me. Now, it's not a product I use often. Like I said, most of the time, I just let her decide that she can't eat me. There was one time I was really happy I had this product because the ball python had bitten somebody on their eyebrow and wrapped up. Now, the eyebrow is pretty close to the eye and you don't exactly want a snake hanging off of there. So they, they called me, I went over there, I rubbed a little Listerine on their forehead, the ball python let go, they put it in the cage. It was just a fluke thing because snakes are animals and weird things do happen. So it was nice to have it help end the situation and just help the animal realize, hey, this isn't something you're supposed to eat and wrap up. Needless to say, the person's forehead smelled good for the next hour. Well guys, there's the five things I think every serious reptile keeper should keep. Now don't get me wrong, there's going to be a lot more. There's a lot more hacks, so there's a lot more tips that you can keep. So let me know down in the comments below, what's a different thing you use that you think every snake keeper should consider using that might help them out? Thanks so much for watching. Go ahead and hit that like button. If you're new here, subscribe. I'm going to be putting out a lot more videos and I want to take you guys along with me. But in the meantime, I'm going to be spending time with my animals. This has been Max's View, and I'll see you guys next time.